scientists diving 3,000 feet under the Pacific Ocean found a perfect yellow brick road. Not painted, not built by humans. A natural formation so geometric it looks like someone laid it stone by stone. The crew's first words? It's the road to Atlantis. Today we're exploring one of the ocean's most mind-bending discoveries, a volcanic formation that defies everything you think you know about nature. We'll uncover how it formed, why it's so perfectly geometric, and what other impossible structures are hiding in the deepest parts of our planet. Picture this, it's April 2022, and scientists are live-streaming a routine dive 3,000 feet below the Pacific Ocean. They're using a remote robot to explore an underwater mountain called Nootka Seamount. Suddenly, their cameras reveal something that makes the entire research team go silent. Spread across the seafloor is what looks like a perfectly paved road. Not just any road, a yellow brick road with rectangular stones arranged in perfect rows. The blocks are so uniform, so precisely placed, that the first scientist to see it literally said, it's the road to Atlantis. The footage went viral instantly, racking up nearly 3 million views because people couldn't believe what they were seeing. But here's the really wild part. This road is located at the summit of an underwater mountain in what used to be described as a dried ancient lake bed. It's sitting nearly a kilometer beneath the surface in one of Earth's most remote locations, within Hawaii's massive marine protection zone that's bigger than all U.S. national parks combined. The scientists were so stunned, they started describing it like archaeologists finding ruins. They said the ground looked like baked crust that you could peel off in layers. The geometric precision was so perfect that for a moment, even trained geologists wondered if they discovered evidence of an ancient civilization. So, what actually created this underwater masterpiece? The answer is way cooler than aliens or ancient civilizations. This is nature showing off her mathematical precision through a volcanic process so specific that it only happens under perfect conditions. The yellow brick road is made of something called hyaloclastite rock. Here's how it forms. Imagine lava that's over 1,000 degrees Celsius, suddenly hitting ice-cold seawater. The temperature shock is so extreme that the molten rock literally explodes into perfectly angular fragments. These fragments settle on the seafloor in layers, creating the flat surface we see today. But that's not what makes it look like bricks. The rectangular patterns come from something called thermal stress fracturing. Imagine dropping a red-hot metal cube into liquid nitrogen. The thermal shock would shatter it instantly into angular pieces. Now imagine that happening to mountain-sized volumes of lava hitting ocean water 300 times colder. The explosive force creates fracture patterns so precise they look like they were cut with industrial lasers. Over millions of years, this underwater mountain experienced repeated volcanic eruptions. Each eruption heated the rock, then the cold ocean water cooled it rapidly. This heating and cooling cycle created enormous stress in the rock, and stress in volcanic rock always fractures in the same way, at 90 degree angles. It's the same process that created the Giant's Causeway in Ireland and Devil's Postpile in California. Except this happened completely underwater. The ocean environment preserved these patterns perfectly, like a geological time capsule sitting untouched for millions of years. This discovery sits on something even more incredible, one of the longest volcanic chains in the entire solar system. The Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain stretches over 3,600 miles across the Pacific Ocean, and it's been active for 80 million years. That's longer than the distance from New York to London, all created by the same volcanic hotspot. Here's what blew my mind. These underwater mountains used to be islands above sea level. 
The yellow brick road formation was created when this seamount was actively erupting as a volcanic island millions of years ago. Over time, the Pacific Plate carried it northwest, away from the hotspot, and the island gradually sank beneath the waves. But here's what nobody talks about. When scientists measured the blocks, they found something that broke their instruments. Each rectangular piece is exactly 2.3 meters long and 1.8 meters wide. Every. Single. One. Across hundreds of meters. The mathematical precision is so perfect that volcanic rock specialists called it statistically impossible for natural formation. Yet here it is. Now it sits as what scientists call a guyo, a flat-topped underwater mountain that's basically a drowned island. The yellow brick road is sitting on the summit where beaches and maybe even forests once existed. It's like finding the ruins of a lost world, except the ruins are natural volcanic formations that tell the story of how our planet builds and destroys land over geological time. The seamount is located in Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument, which protects 1,931 kilometers of ocean northwest of Hawaii. This isn't just any protected area. It's considered sacred by native Hawaiians and contains some of the most pristine marine ecosystems on Earth. And here's the crazy part. Only 3% of this massive area has been explored. The yellow brick road discovery proves something incredible. Our oceans are full of geological structures so perfectly formed they look artificial. But if volcanic processes can create something this geometric, what else might be down there that we're dismissing as impossible? Here's what terrifies me about this discovery. If we miss something this massive and obvious for millions of years, what are we missing right now? There could be underwater cities, geometric structures bigger than pyramids, formations that would rewrite geology textbooks, all sitting in the darkness while we argue about budgets for ocean exploration. Scientists are now using this formation as a natural laboratory to study how volcanic materials behave under extreme deep-sea conditions. They're finding microorganisms living in the mineral crusts on these rocks, life forms that have adapted to conditions more extreme than Mars. These creatures might hold clues to how life could exist on other planets with underwater volcanic activity. The research team is also studying how these formations preserve the history of volcanic eruptions. Each layer tells a story about ancient climate conditions, ocean chemistry, and volcanic activity patterns that go back millions of years. It's like reading Earth's diary, written in stone on the ocean floor. But perhaps most exciting is what this discovery suggests about the rest of our unexplored oceans. We've mapped more of the moon's surface than our own seafloor. If something this remarkable can hide just 3,000 feet underwater in a relatively well-studied area, imagine what's waiting in the deepest trenches or under polar ice caps or in the vast unexplored regions of the Pacific. We've seen how volcanic forces created a road so perfect it looks artificial and the mathematical precision that breaks scientific instruments. But what about the structures that are so geometric, so impossibly precise that even after finding them, scientists still can't explain how they formed? Those mind-bending discoveries are next. The fact that we can even see the yellow brick road shows how far underwater exploration has come. The robot that discovered it can dive to 20,000 feet, has 28 LED lights, and cameras so powerful they can zoom in on creatures the size of quarters from 10 feet away. But that's just the beginning. Scientists are now using AI to map the seafloor automatically. Advanced sonar systems can create 3D models of underwater landscapes in real time while new underwater communication systems let robots send HD video back to the surface instantly. It's like having underwater Wi-Fi networks that work thousands of feet below the surface, waiting for the right moment in human technological development for us to find it. And get this, the formation is still active. Scientists detected that sections of the yellow brick road shift and realign during underwater earthquakes, it's not just a fossil of ancient processes, it's a living geological system that's still building itself, following mathematical rules we don't understand. 
This raises an incredible question. How many other impossible formations are out there right now, sitting in the darkness, waiting to rewrite our understanding of what's possible? We know more about the surface of Mars than we do about most of our ocean floor. The yellow brick road proves that nature can create structures so perfect they challenge our assumptions about what's natural versus artificial. Recent discoveries include underwater lakes, upside-down waterfalls, and mineral formations that grow in perfect spirals. Each new exploration reveals that the deep ocean operates by rules we're only beginning to understand. The yellow brick road isn't just a geological curiosity. It's proof that our planet still holds secrets that can completely surprise us. The Pacific Ocean's yellow brick road isn't just sitting there anymore. It's changing, growing, following patterns that challenge everything we know about planetary formation. Right now, as you're watching this, there are dozens of unmanned submarines diving into trenches we've never seen, using AI to identify patterns human eyes would miss. What they're finding is going to change everything we think we know about Earth. For millions of years, this perfect geological formation sat in total darkness, unknown to science, created by volcanic forces so precise they rival human engineering. Now that we've found it, this underwater masterpiece is helping us understand how our planet builds impossible structures through natural processes we're only beginning to comprehend. But here's what keeps me awake at night. If something this incredible can hide for millions of years, just 3,000 feet underwater, what other impossible discoveries are waiting in the deepest parts of our oceans? We've barely scratched the surface of Earth's underwater realm, and every new dive reveals features that challenge everything we thought we knew about our planet. The next video shows the discoveries so impossible that NASA is studying them for clues about alien worlds. Because apparently, our own planet is already showing us what alien geology looks like.